A rare species of so-called flesh-eating bacteria has been linked to the deaths of five people in Florida. A total of 26 cases of the bacteria infection have been confirmed statewide this year, including one in Broward County. So what is this bacteria and where can you find it? According to the CDC, you can get Vibrio vulnificus bacteria by eating raw or undercooked oysters and other shellfish. Vibrio vulnificus is a normal inhabitant of uh, salty and brackish water. The problem is when it's warmer, the, the bacterium grows better. And so you have higher concentration of the Vibrio in the water. And that's when it becomes a problem. Now, if you're going to cook shellfish yourself um, and you're gonna be handling the raw shellfish, you should be wearing gloves. The CDC says that anyone can get an infection, though some people are more prone and can have more severe reactions like necrotizing fasciitis. And if necrotizing fasciitis sounds scary, that's because it is. It's a skin infection that aggressively attacks muscles and other organs, resulting in rapid destruction of tissues, which is where the flesh eating term comes from. Who is more prone to getting infected? If you have diabetes, kidney or liver disease or cancer, you might be more prone to getting infected. If you're a healthy teenager or adult, you may rarely get infected, but anyone with open wounds should avoid swimming pools, hot tubs, natural bodies of water like lakes, rivers, and the ocean. And if you uh, have to go into the water and you have a cut, but you have no choice but to go in the water, make sure that you bandage it with a waterproof Band-Aid uh, so that you reduce the risk of that wound getting contaminated. The infection is pretty rare, but the CDC says there's about 700 to 1,200 cases diagnosed yearly in the U.S., but they do say this is likely an underestimate. They also say that about 30% of those cases result in death. If you do get necrotizing fasciitis, you can infect others since it's not contagious. But here are the symptoms and what you should look out for. Changes in skin color, rapidly spreading swollen skin, severe pain, fever. Later, ulcers or blisters can form as well as dizziness, fatigue, nausea, diarrhea. You should seek medical attention if these symptoms don't go away. Necrotizing fasciitis is a serious illness that requires immediate attention and could even require surgery. The CDC says up to one in three can die from the infection.